We back. You heard me? You dig? After the storm. You know what I'm saying? Ah, that hurricane Ida. You heard me? Yeah, bro. Glad you know, everything turned right out quick. good. Ain't stop shit, but. Well, no, I can't say everything turned out good. Good luck to everybody trying to get it back together, you know. That houses and stuff got messed up, looting and stuff for the hurricane. I hope y'all get back together. It could have been worse. That's all I could see. Could have been worse. Yeah. That bitch will see boy Dallas and say it's so be out on the money line. <laughs> Man, you was supposed to take them points, Will. Fuck to take them points, Will. Tripping, Will. Will. Take the points, Come baby. on, Will. Points, Will. Take the points. You know that, oh. Will. You been doing this shit too long, brother. You know, I had Dallas in the whole bro. They psyched everybody up. Like that that Brady was going to cover that real. Like that. Smoke that up the sports world. podcast, man. You feel me? They psyched all the We gambling. Up. We got picks. You know, you know what I'm saying? We got picks. We, 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 we got, you know, we got some, we got some shit with the sports shit, man. I'm giving y'all CD pick. How you, how you gonna get my pick? What's my pick? <laughs> Saints to win the Super Bowl. Well, man, come on, man. <laughs> man, you know we die hard, man. But you know, Saints to win the Super Bowl. I gamble, so I don't, I don't bet with my heart. So if I'm not betting with the Saints, I'm not betting the game. You know, so I'm not going. I fuck with the Saints, but I ain't gonna. I, don't, I really don't like the gamble Saints games just to keep my feelings out of it. Because <laughs> I won't see them win. You feel me? You know, sometimes it's hard to put that in perspective when you're gambling. My dog Drew on this thing, man. Floating, you dig? We got to get a floating, um. Some type of floating thing so we could sit up here, bro, and promote that weed. But, uh, man, good game tonight, dude, bro. We had opening night NFL season tonight, man. You dig? Dallas at Tampa, the champs. Brady does it again. Brady, man, Brady. Brady got the ball. Brady you already good, knew. bro. We already fucking knew that the man was going to score, brother. They should have just, man. they shouldn't even, you know, you know how they be like, that's why we play the game? Fuck all that. They should have just gave them niggas the fucking points and if the fucking game was over with. That bitch was over with, brother. Fuck all that. That's why we play the game. They didn't even have to do that. Ball game. Over. They should have just fucked. Brady, bro. Come on, Brady, man. Brady, Brady, Brady. But, I mean, we saying it to see. To I me, like whoever would have had the ball last. Whoever had it last, and especially who had it last and they only needed three to win. And this is today's game, bro. If you need three to win and you – I don't care where you at on the field. If you got a minute of move, man, these quarterbacks going – it's going to be hard, bro. Yeah, these quarterbacks good nowadays, brother. And the way the defense set up and the way people, you know – you touch the quarterback, it's a penalty, and all guess these, what? You know, it's hard, man. We have to bring special teams into play. Dallas missed the field goal and the extra point that would have won them the game. Dallas really outplayed Tampa, even though Tampa played a perfect game. I want to see the stats because I might be wrong, but it wouldn't surprise me if Dallas really outplayed them. Can't say that because time them had two back-to-back turnovers. So, you know, even that missed field goal, they turned it right back over to him. I think that was the Leonard intercept when he off the tip. Off the tip, right. <coughs> and Jones fumbled right before that. Ain't ain't get back in the game. Yeah, I, that wasn't fumbled, that was a trip. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't catch it, like, what actually happened. I only saw the aftermath when he, you know, when he's showing, I kind of sh- – Caught the back end of the replay. And Bruce Evans, bro. I fuck with Bruce Evans, though. They coach is a gangster, bro. Man, I had Ronald Jones on the on a damn prop bet. I had Amari Cooper and, a, and Ronald Jones to score a touchdown in the game. 
Man, Ronald Jones fumbled the ball. He didn't get back on the field. Bro. Cooper score. <laughs> Cooper score. I need Ronald Jones to get in the end zone. I honestly thought, and knowing me, I don't know why I thought that, but I, I heard that Ronald Jones was starting. I didn't get the, the information right on what was going on. You know, like, fuck. I knew Lennon, I felt like Lennon should be starting. Oh, <laughs> well, fuck. And Lennon ended up starting. Lennon ended up starting, boy, yeah. So, Lennon looked good, too. Speaking of Lennon from that, shout out to Lennon, man. Hold New Orleans down. Ain't yeah, no man. way Lennon should be backing nobody up, man. Fuck all that. Boy, Leonard looked at rejuvenated and good tonight. And what showed me he read it? Fuck. They gave it to him every other play tonight. Like, what no ain't no breed or nothing for Leonard. Leonard really got that bitch like a every down back tonight. Tonight he displayed that I'm ready to be every down. He showed that tonight. Oh, oh, he showed that tonight. No, he been showing oh, that. About to see. In Tampa, he didn't get them touches like that really till like the end of the year. You seen what he started doing. Yeah, when they yeah, started yeah. giving it to him more, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. Now he's about to start getting these touches like Chubb and them getting They got more of them in there, woo. Let me get one, bro. Right? I- yeah, I do. You know, I still fuck with it. He about to get the touches I that agree. the I still get one. Yeah. Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? He about to touch the ball more this season. I feel like he a thousand yard rusher this year in Tampa. I, sh- he sh- I think he should be a thousand yard rusher, whatever he at. Depending on where he at, yeah, he could be, he could be way up there, but thousand yard, he should be able to get a thousand yard wherever he at. Thank you. And then you know you're going to get a 1,000. They got another game. You see what I'm saying? Extra game this year. I saw a post today. Which one of these records going to get broke this year? I said all them bitches. Oh, fuck, man. Extra another game. game. Somebody going to throw for 6,000 yards. Dak probably going to do it. He, he had 400 tonight. Yeah, four hundred tonight, big dog. Ooh. Man, woo, you pulling out all the treats again, bro. Right yeah, woo. that's a that's a that's a good one right there. Can somebody eclipse six thousand with this extra game? with this extra game? Yes, indeed, Cause man. Peyton Manning got the highest one, fifty four hundred seventy seven yards. Peyton Manning shit, fifty four hundred yards with the fifty five touchdown. And nigga don't know, I think he did that in Denver. Late with the neck and everything. I know. I think he threw the fifty-five Mm-mm. touchdowns in Denver. Mm-mm. Yeah, do, yeah. See, I think he threw the fifty-five touchdowns in Denver, brother. Yeah, that fucked me up. He did something in Denver. He did something. He ain't shit in Denver. Yeah. That man was hurting every day, man. He bad to play. Mm-mm-mm-mm. What that is, that boot Uh huh. Check this out. She burned me, so I gotta try and catch the middle. <laughs> All right, 5477. Yeah, 2013. Slide the stats over. When you see the 55 touchdowns, 2013, the 55 touchdowns with the 5477. He did that in Denver. I know, man. That's why yeah. I saw Damn, he played with Denver four years? He did that in Denver. Oh, Remember, feel like he ain't played with Denver that long. Damn. I'm going to tell you, he did that the season that Seattle made him cry in the Super Bowl. With the leads in the boom. He cut up, but they got to the Super Bowl and got embarrassed. Then they come back the next year when he was just game managing this shit and, and Vaughn Miller took over the Super Bowl and they won. Remember, he got to the Super Bowl twice with Denver. He lost and he won. Yeah. They got blowed out, Richard Sherman them. And then they come back and beat uh Cam. Yeah, they beat Cam. 
Von Miller, Super Bowl MVP. You sure right. Super Bowl MVP. That nigga, yeah, Von that's Miller. when he threw for the. That's when he broke the record. That nigga broke the record in Denver. The that's what he get my props at. He broke the record. He, the, his best season was in Denver. Fifty five touchdowns. Demarius Thomas went off. Pro Bowler. That yeah. when he, he was slinging that bitch. That when Demarius Thomas was like doing his thing. Fresh out of Georgia Tech, young. Yeah. yeah. Thought that man neck was hurt. His neck was hurt the next year. <coughs> no. He kind of fucked it up toward <laughs> the end of that year with the 55 touchdown, but he made it through. He had the La surgery and all that, that offseason. The offseason going into the year that they won the Super Bowl. That's when he had the surgery. The, the year, neck was after the Colts, man. Yeah, but it, it was problems. He had the surgery right before they. He didn't play a whole year, D. He, the he, coach, he got hurt with the coach. Well, you say he played four years with Denver, so. Yeah, he uh, did. It's, the surgery it's was like his Denver. second. No, his surgery was with Denver. He got the surgery with Denver. It must be he for something He had the else. problem, and he wasn't getting the surgery, thinking they could just heal it regular. And the, it paid man could have played longer years than that. He ain't want to go get the surgery. Well, when he the had the really. surgery after the coach. That's why he set out. He had the surgery. He, he ain't played one year, right? If you're still on your phone, he didn't play one year with he the coach. A year. He missed a year. Too. That was the last year with the coach. He didn't play. And then, you know, the question was, can he play? He had the surgery. You're right. He had the surgery guard in the demo. And then he just couldn't get right after his third year. It's like, damn, he probably lost his arm strength, shit like that. He may have been hurt or something too, though. But... That shit up? don't matter no more when you're um, old. You got to get out of there. <laughs> what? 2011, the year he missed. See? Man, Ronald Jones out of here, Pat. Huh? Who, that's Pat Nightwalk? Yeah, Nightwalk. Man, <laughs> Pat, my fucking dog. <laughs> you heard me? Pat, you holding hey, it down, hey, brother. Hey. Pat, I like what you're doing, Pat, brother. Your blessings going to come to you, Pat, brother. I love what you're doing, son. Real talk. That's real spill, Camp brother. Zo, baby. Yeah, Camp Zo. The best trainers down here, yeah, man. Brother. Best coach. Man, the best I coaches down here. I love what Pat doing, man. Pat, you remind me of the, of, the, of, the, of the old heads that raised us, you know, in this ball in the city, brother. You, you doing your See, thing, bro. brother. Yeah, he didn't play his last year, 2011, the coach. He missed all the game. The only thing he could play came back, played every game for Denver. Threw for 4 to 600. Next year, threw for 5,400. 55 touchdown. Best season ever as a quarterback. With the Mavericks home, he tore this bitch up. That's the best season ever as a quarterback. Ever. Yeah. No, Drew Brees did some shit, too. Drew Brees did some shit with the 5,000 and something yards, but... You know, that's the best season ever, though. 55 touchdowns, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's both the records? That's both the records. 55 and a 5,400. That's both the records. Oh, yeah, Peyton. He from that NO, too. The closest thing to it, I think Big Ben, Ro- ben Rosselberg of 2011 had like 5,200. He had like 5,200. You know what I mean? But, uh,. We gonna go ahead on and get y'all some picks, brother, for this uh, NFL season. Our division winners, you know, and all that. Our Super Bowl picks, you know. Yeah. I start off with saying, yeah, you gotta call them out. I ain't got no phone to uh, get the exact. I know offhand divisions, like, you know, as far as who everything right on point. I, you know, but I start off with our division, the NFC. Our South. division, NFC South. We got Saints, Tampa, Carolina. And Atlanta. And our heard. arch rival, our nemesis, Atlanta. This how I got it, bro. Believe it or not, I got. I got this. I got. Hey, come on, man. I got. I, Tampa going to win the division. All right. The Saints going to do good. Tampa gonna win the division, bro. Oh, right. I, I want the My. Saints to win the division, but I'm I'm a pick Tampa to win the division because they're supposed to. They're supposed to win the division. 
Now, if they're going to win it, I don't know. That's my pick for the NFC South. Saints, baby. I don't know about Tampa supposed to win shit. He going to South. First of all, you know what I'm saying? But Saints. So, we're going to go on to the next motherfucking. Uh, we're going to go to the AFC South. To the, yeah, because, you know. The AFC South, I got the coach over Tennessee. If their quarterback situation is good. If the coach quarterback situation can stay healthy, I like the coach to win that division over Ain't Tennessee. No they, got the best, they got the best defense over there in that division. Straight up. If Jacksonville and Minnesota, come on, man. We know this is a two-leg race. Not Minnesota, Jacksonville. I mean, Jacksonville and Houston. This is this, this yeah. a, a two-head race in that division. Yeah, I got Tennessee. I got Tennessee that division. Who we got? Who we got next? That's easy, Tennessee. NFC West. NFC. The toughest division in football. I'm going to go ahead on and say that yeah. right there. Anybody can win the division. All right, well, Seattle, I Arizona, got the Rams. the Rams, and Frisco. I got the Rams. I got the Rams, too. I got the Rams, too, uh... Nah. NFC West. Nah, this I'm might be the toughest division about, too. Uh, I got a crazy question about the NFC West though, right quick. Who not going? Who not gonna make the playoffs in that division? Ain't that some shit, huh? Who not gonna make the playoffs? In- I'ma tell you, on paper, right? Seattle got the less stacked team in the division on paper. But we'll never say Russell Wilson going to be the one not to make it. But they're the less stacked team in the division. Seattle, on paper, all three of the other teams got more than them. All around, better. It's still a little tough because yeah, Seattle still better. got some, they still got players. The 49ers, boy, the 49ers loaded, boy. The 49ers souped up too. And you seen what Arizona just got all these all that young talent floating around. Your boy from Clemson, Boo the Baker, dude on the line who averaged fucking twelve sacks, fifteen a year and shit on the fucking. Be real, it might be the Forty Nine got the weakest talent. The weakest. No, Forty Nine has got more talent. It's though Seattle got some niggas. They got arguably the best linebacker, arguably the best safety. You know. <clears throat> That's it on their defense. That's it. Everything gone. The brothers gone. And uh, the brothers gone? The brothers gone. Both of them. They don't Both got them. no secondary. They don't know try to tell you. And on offense, you know, yeah, they got Lockett yeah. and Metcalf, but, man, Rashad Penn and them, Chris Carson, them, them niggas ain't it at running back. I'm going to keep it real, brother. But, 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 but Seattle is something like the Saints. Exactly. They, they don't have the names. They, they, they got a system, my nigga. That's why I said their division is scary. But on paper, they got the less talent. Don't Four mean nine. the outcome going to be like that, ain't, brother. don't got nobody. They got George Kittle. But Debo Sammy. Man, there ain't no name. But that dude been doing his thing since he, he ain't doing no thing league. like Tyler Lockett or Metcalf. George Kittle, the these Josh Kittle, the best tight end in the league. Raheem Mostert running the full three. Even though Kelsey team. and all them, but Josh Kittle really the best. Like, No, Josh Kittle is not the best. All right. You can't even say that. I, I just did. Know why. You can't even say that, man. Can't fuck with Kelsey, man. I ain't no, he can't. I'm still I'm doing it on the higher level. I ain't never slow down. I like saying them niggas better than man. Listen, brother. No, I feel you. Kelsey, of course, is the top tier A1 man. tight end. He been doing. I'm just saying. I say he the best today, in NFL today, today. But not if he retired right now. If George Kittle played for uh, KC, come he'll on, he'll do now. the same thing. He'll do more. Is he better I than can't him? Say he'll do more. I just feel like he better than him. He faster, stronger, I can't everything. I never say he'll do more because he's doing that best to the fullest. He just called for 1,400 yards for him. Man, George Kittle to do all that, man. Man, the dude just called for 1,400. Blocking everything. He, a, no, he, a, he, he's a, he like a defensive player playing tight end. He ain't no wide receiver as tight end like Kelsey. Kelsey, physical, big. 
Kelsey not physical. Why is he not? If you had to, if you had to put him on physical tight ends as physical tight ends, I wouldn't put Kelsey as physical tight ends. I would just say he do everything. I think he do do everything. I think he just, he, I think he's a great receiving tight end though. He probably could block That's good why and all that too. Josh Kittle, just the same. He not. <laughs> all right, dude, don't get hurt. You'll be missing him. Dude, don't get hurt. You'll be missing him. Yeah, this is about to, this is about to go down. Josh Kittle like that dude. So yeah, I got the Rams in that division. I got the Rams. We're going to go to uh, what, Cleveland, them Cleveland, Pittsburgh. Yeah, see not. Yeah, see not. That's arguably the toughest division, too. I got Cleveland. AFC <clears throat> North. AFC North, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Baltimore. No. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Cleveland because Baltimore fucked up. Peters and them got hurt today. Two people told the ACL in one practice. Marcus, Marcus Peters, Peters and Gus Edwards today. Torn ACL, both them out. Now Le'Veon Bell gonna start for real. Yeah. Uh. Damn, that's bad. Marcus Peters got hurt today. Marcus Peters tore ACL. Damn. Damn. That's big. That big, bro. I ain't tripping on the running back shit. Y'all just got, uh. Love you all, Bell. Tripping you. Mm-hmm. Running backs, dime a dozen. And every on Bell still cold. He ain't heard of nothing. If he 80% of the Levy on Bell he was, he colder than a lot of his niggas. If he, if he come back to 75%, Levy on Bell. <laughs> I won't that that. <coughs> So yeah, you got Cleveland. <clears throat> and Cleveland and made the jump like that when niggas picking them and shit. <laughs> That's how niggas feel. I ain't lying, they loaded. Defense, they got a good offense, and they done, you know, they done been Clowney through it a little bit. Clowney and Garrett. But you know what? They're gonna beat up they gonna beat up on each other in that division, bro. And I'ma go I'ma go with it. With old reliable most likely, bro. Cause I think it's just gonna be between Baltimore and Pittsburgh to be real. Even though Cleveland like that, I just don't know if Cleveland ready to win them games again. Like they gonna you know, I don't, really, I don't know if they're ready. I could be, this I might be that. Lamar year, I man. I'm going ready. Baltimore. Baltimore. Mm, I like that pick. Because I was going to go with that pick, but the injuries. You know, DK Dobbins, out for the year. Gus Edwards, out for the year. That's the one and two running yeah. backs. Then they locked down Cone out. Yeah, no, that ain't they locked down Cone. Marlon Humphrey, they locked down Cone, boy. Dude, one, he was the best Cone in the league last year. Been, he been the best Cone in the league the last three years, statistically. Marlon Humphrey. Yeah, I think Marcus Peters did. He did corner, though, for sure. He not? He is. Why is this? Oh, yeah, Marcus Peters got so the Let me show you. Let me show you why he not. <clears throat> when I pull up top corners in the NFL, right, he going to come on now. Marcus Peters ain't going to be on now. Yeah, Watch this, son. They, they gave Marcus Peters the uh, MVP since he got the Baltimore. He had the most picks since he got that thing, too. Look. Talking about Mar- Marlon Humphrey, boy. They got him. Some people say he the best in the business right now. It, him, the niggas, Aaron Howard, Stephen Gilmo. We had, he, yeah, Humphreys. Humphreys, that nigga. Uh, Peter's the number two, but that's a hell of a number two, but the Humphreys, the young boy. Yeah, the shutdown. Real shit. Yeah, Marlon Humphrey from Alabama. Okay. Yeah. I know I know Marcus Peters. Oh, he's been top notch. Yeah, he on the back end though. He on the back end though, for real. I mean I mean, yeah, I guess so. It's probably about his eight years or something. Yeah. It could be his ten year. I don't even been in the league for a minute. Mm. 
So I got Baltimore. I'm cool with all them injuries as far as running backs and shit. Cause if you ain't got the best back in the league, it don't matter. Like you got a back, fuck a nigga who should be able to tote this bitch and do something for you. If you ain't got, you know, can be a game changer. But Le'Veon Bell, you got mm-hmm. something. The rest of the you league. got something. So you what could, about that, uh, you could throw a, another dude in there with Le'Veon, and y'all got something to work with. Nothing but you good. got Lamar Jackson, Lamar. And fucking Le'Veon Bell, I ain't lying. That's a fucking duo. <laughs> I'm sure I don't like. That's a fucking duo, boy. That's indeed, bro. It's a goddamn duo. That's, That's gonna fuck people up. But I got Baltimore. But um, uh, can Denver dethrone Kansas City and the AFC West? Teddy Bridgewater with with that defense. They say Denver defense top notch. They've been rapping on Denver defense. Man, fuck no. Man. Easy Kansas, Kansas citizen. citizen. I, I already know. I'm just asking that question. Why? <sighs> Why the fuck you ask that question? <laughs> just get him the division, huh? <laughs> fuck no. Pat Mahomes? Right, you just give it to the season, huh? Man, this dude's like that, man. You, man, look, like that. Yeah, Denver played with him last year, division game. They gonna play with him and shit, give him a so game. So you say you like KC game one over Cleveland. You still don't trust that? Yeah, I like KC. Every weekend, I like KC. I don't well, think they lose, you know what I'm saying? If they're playing Brady. Oh, man. No, if they playing Brady, I like KC. That dude was playing with dudes like me blocking for him in the Super Bowl, man. Right. I had KC still. You know, I didn't know it was going to be that bad. Like, it shows that bad when you ain't, you don't have your lineman. Man, dude was running for his life back then, man. And still made some hell of a throw. Still was, like, trying out there. That nigga jumped and made a throw while he was in the air. Ain't no way we comparing this man like he the best ever, the lighter. And he in this fucking, what he in, his fourth fucking... Season. This is four year, third year starting. You know, he had one whole year where he backed Ali Smith up. Then the next year he got the job. They went to the AFC Championship. No Kareem Hunt. They was going to win it. Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt got in the trouble in the middle of that season right there. I feel like they, 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 they win the bowl that year. They beat New England with Kareem Hunt. They ain't had that running game that really keep braiding them off the field how they want so it was like scope for scope. They couldn't so, use the clock on That was the last division right there with KC no, now? No, we got to do the AFC East. LC and the East. NFC East. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to do the... Uh, and guess what? I'm about to fuck you up. I got the Dolphins winning that division. What? Hold on, so you talking about the Dolphins, the Patriots, Buffalo... <laughs> Yeah. What a four one in the um, Jets. The Jets. I like the young boy, rookie of the year. He rookie of the year. He's get to him right Zach now. Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson. He rookie. He called. He fuck with Zach Wilson. He put me on Zach Wilson. I saw it, dude. Just not in a preseason game. Homie looked like he liked. I that. told you I've been betting on him for three years at BYU. He giving twenty one every week. You know something, man. <laughs> <laughs> he giving twenty four and shit every week. Cover him. And look, like I told y'all, well, I ain't tell y'all, telling y'all nothing. Like I told my partner, Zach Wilson is everything we thought Johnny Football was going to be. He the one. Bandana, swag, sauce, but he ain't the trouble boy. He a football player. The difference between him and Johnny is he got the flair, he got the look, he got the sauce and everything, but he on chill more than Johnny was. But he everything we thought Johnny was going to be. He the superstar. He looked like it, bro. He the superstar, mobile, he white like quarterback they've been waiting for. It's him. He the one. He the, he the, he the versatile white boy quarterback that they've been looking for for 20 years. Him, they finally hit the lead. The white boy that can run around and sling this bitch and everything too. He the, he gonna be the first. Y'all doing games? Huh? Are we doing individual games? 
No, I mean we gonna got we got a few picks. We yeah, I got a few game. picks for week one. We're gonna get them out the week two, yep. <coughs> so you got Miami winning that division yeah, with the bro. Patriots and Buffalo on the up and up. Miami got the best defense in that division. I don't know. Do they? Uh, Buffalo, Buffalo might have something to say about Sir that. So Davis White them and shit, but you know, what they England ain't then? ain't trying to say that like, oh yeah, they do too. You know what I'm saying? McCarty, McCarty, and them and shit. That division tough, bro. Yeah, and they got the young boy Zach Wilson. They got to play against when they think it's sweet. So, I think I I think Buffalo gonna pull out with now though. But I feel like that division gonna be tough. I feel like New England gonna be okay. I feel like New England gonna be beating people, man. They oh, got man. right back to the. System quarterback they need and want, and that shit gonna work. It, I mean, it usually works. Bill Belichick usually works with Matt Cassell, mm-hmm. Tom Brady. You know, just you know, come make some good plays, and we gonna play some good defense, and we gonna we not gonna beat ourselves and win games. That's tough. That's a tough division. That's why I say, you know, this about to be them people quarterback. Like I was telling my people the other day, this about to be their quarterback for the next 13 to 17 years. 20 years the way the, the league going. Right, so. all right. Check this out. Y'all don't beat these people now. They about to go on another 20-year run on y'all. That's why I feel like they not about to win a division right now. Them teams in that division, they've been whipping on them so long. They better fight them now. Y'all better get y'all wins in now. Because they about to develop this boy. You see that this boy is the Tom Brady that could move around a little bit better. That's all he is. He the new he throwing Brady. throwing that thing, bro. I, no, when, we was at, when he was at Alabama, everybody was looking <laughs> at this boy like, man. I never used to believe you. You he used to Brady. be telling me, CD. He doing the same shit Joe Burrow said. Ain't no fucking way. Like he doing what Joe Burrow did. When you put up the stats, he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he really was close to what fucking Joe Burrow was doing. (laughs) But I ain't paying no mind. Alabama, they win by thirty every weekend. No, he thinking it's just Smith. You know, he thinking Smith that cold. The running, you know, the running back cold. I know that. And you know, sometimes Alabama don't really be having no quarterbacks. So, you know, that's be going to the league and do their thing. And they said the. the boy that they got now, going to college, um, the, the boy that they got right now starting at Alabama, they say he the best quarterback recruit Nick Saban ever got in his history of coaching. He the, he's the highest red quarterback Nick Saban ever touched. The boy he got right now, hmm. Bryce Young from California. He stole him from USC. Mm. He went. He committed to USC. He was committed, locked in for like two years. But like right before, him and his daddy had a talk. His daddy like, you need to go to Alabama. But uh, with Jones, you seen it, brother. You seen it. We got one more division, though. The NFC East. You know I got to go with Dallas, brother. Too much talent. <coughs> After yeah. what I seen tonight, nobody in that division don't stand a chance. Yeah, bro. I think the Giants could be a sleeper, you know, potentially could be good, good offense. Um, I don't I don't know what Washington's going to do. I don't know if that defense is going to be able to just beat everybody every week. They're going to have to come with something. And, um... And but Dak looked too good. Like who the other person in there? Washington, Fitzpatrick. Washington, Dallas, Giants, Philly, 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 Philly. Philly. Jalen Hurts. I nah, that's still a sleeper. I always this about Hurts, but you better than the Hurts, the fan. Like do better, do better than what people think. But I do, do might end up being successful, bro. Dude might end up being successful. He, I put, I I mean, I wasn't like a huge Jalen Hurts fan like that. Because, you know, he went to to Bama and shit, so I don't be. But when he went to Oklahoma and did it, that's what showed me. (laughs) 
You know, you go, it's like you go to Bama. It's like you play quarterback, you go to Bama. Uh, you want to start you, they don't really need you. Oklahoma. I could go start at Bama right now at quarterback, and we going to win. Me, CD. We going to win, straight up. I'm going to sling this bitch. I'm going to throw this bitch around. You know, I'll be talking my shit sometimes. But, uh. <laughs> what the fuck was the, uh, Jalen Hurts? Jalen Hurts. I like him, though, bro, because. You don't remember when he went to Oklahoma? When I he remember Oklahoma, he didn't stay. He, he won the Heisman. He won the Heisman at Oklahoma. No, he ain't won the Heisman. Je- uh, Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield did it. Then he he, he was up there, but he ain't won he it. He was second to what? Damn. He ain't won it, though, because that would have been three Heisman Trophy winners in a row. You see what I'm saying? Baker did it, followed by Murray. Back to back. Right. He could have did it. He could have did it. He was a finalist. Yeah, he could have did it. He was a finalist. But, and um, now they got this boy Spencer Rattler right now. Spencer Rattler from the show. <laughs> I'm on, dude. He's slinging okay. it. From the QB1. I'm slinging it. <laughs> He's slinging it. But Jalen Hurst, bro, he could come win games, bro. He the quarterback that they they didn't used to let get on the field or believe in. Like Tyrod Taylor and shit. Like Tyrod's starting for Houston now, but I feel like Tyrod Ben could have been starting for man. somebody. Man, that dude was talented and shit, but Jalen Hurts about to get that opportunity nice and early. Second year. Philly a hard and you city. Can win. You got to get winning in Philly or they get you out yeah, the door. Yeah, that's the thing. That pressure be on, bro. Yeah. But fuck, that's, I ain't going to see that Philly anywhere. Philly a hard nose. Town. Philly a hard place to play, you know. Philly fans hard. You yeah, know, but I just been here in that all sport like Philly fans is hard, brother. They are. They, they are. gonna get you out of there. You ain't doing it. They are. They gonna get you out of there, brother. I like Jalen Hurts though, bro. He go. He gonna do his thing. That, that division I gonna, ain't gonna be. Lie. T- and what's crazy? And it wouldn't seem like it. No, I no I compare. Jalen Hurts took, bro, and I think he can become this because he pause, he listen, and, you know, he take his time and shit, and I like how under control he be. He could be Russell Wilson, brother. He could, he could, how, how, how they, they develop Russell into, now nah, I could spread you out, change the play at the line of scrimmage. Russell ain't coming to the league doing all that first. They Come was on, ga- bro, don't make me remind you, He bro. was game managing this shit first. He was like Tom Brady was doing first. That was the leads in the boom, son. That was the leads in the boom first. You pull up the stats. Go to the stats. Go to the stats. That was Russell Wilson was Russell Wilson was getting them fucking plays from the sideline and shit at first. They developed him. <laughs> you hear me? And I think they could develop Hurst in the same way. They developed Russell Wilson, brother. I mean, I feel you. You're not far off, but no, I, I'm thinking. I'm saying. I'm shaking my head in the fact that man, Russell was throwing oh, he always his bitch. Did, yeah, he always did throwing his, his bitch, and he was making big throws when the Legion of Boom was the Legion of Boom. Yeah, they didn't That's unleash him. That's why he was named the starter, but he didn't. He, he didn't <coughs> have full control of the offense yet. That's what I mean by Jalen Hurst. Do we got full the, control now? I don't know. Yeah. How? How Fuck we know that? I don't know that. He coming to the line, not changing shit and, 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 and shit. He wasn't doing that. No, I don't think that's what. I don't think that's what, why you saying that because the full control. Because I think they are giving Russell All more of the team now. Got full it was control. Marshawn Lynch, like Josh woo, Allen. Woo, woo. He don't even got full control yet. Like, niggas got full control is Evan Rogers, Brady. Matthew Staff, niggas like that got full control, dog. Yeah, these certain niggas, certain elite niggas that got full control over the offense. For us, like you know, see, I don't think I don't know, but I don't think that's how that go. Like certain niggas, just I think that's on the coaching. I think that's just on the coaching staff. I know Peyton Manning probably could do whatever the fuck he want. He that's Peyton Manning. But like with Tom Brady and Bruce Arians. Of course, Tom can run this fucking game by itself. I'm good. Tom can run this game by itself. But you know what? I think Bruce Arians is a quarterback coach. Woo-dee-woo-dee-woo. You going to listen to what the fuck Bruce Arians saying, Tom? 
Right. What you mean? You run it. You got full control. I don't know what that means. Right, 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 like right. Like Sean right. Payne, what you mean? Drew Brees just telling Sean Payne what to do. Like Sean Payne just chilling. Fuck no. Sean Payton know what to look at to see what the fuck we need to be full, doing. Full control. Yeah, so I don't they elite know. quarterbacks got say so. Well, they could come to this line, and if they really see it, they could change it. You don't think Joe Burrow got some say so? Yeah. I think as a quarterback, you have to have some say so. Now, straight managing somebody, that's different. Like, I think that's a little different. I don't think they was necessarily doing that with Russell Wilson. This why they had Marshawn Lynch. Had the wristband. They had Marshawn Lynch. Really had the wristband number time. But I mean, everybody probably had the wristband. The number. He probably still got a wristband. You know. But Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Our our scheme is to run the ball, play defense. We ain't. We not sure if we just want to put the ball in Russell Wilson's hand and say. Let's win a game Dang, like right, that. Right, right, right. So hey, defense was the heart and soul, though. See, it time. was. It was run the ball, play defense. Right. But you still saw that we need to move this ball. Woo, woo, Russell Wilson. He, yeah, he doing his thing. Not that they don't have all this no more. They don't have a Marshawn Lynch. They don't got the Legion of Boom. So the scheme is different now. Russell Wilson might throw the ball forty times a night. That's what he doing. That's right. just what, he, what just they like got to ben do to win. First. <laughs> Ben wasn't far wide and all at first when he had Jerome Bettis. Bettis left. It's far wide now because cause we got Antonio Brown, uh, Mike Wallace. Shout out to Mike Wallace, New Orleans. You hear me? But you know what Emmanuel happened in that? Sanders, the coaching changed. What's, what's, uh, what's Ty the. Ty Haley, huh? No. Ty Haley's with Mike Tomlin. I think he was Ty Haley may have been there with the with the boy too one time. What's the white man name? The coach who was you know who won it? Who won it? Uh, he won. Coward. Uh, Coward. 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 Bill Coward. Bill Coward. Bill Coward. Yeah, Bill Coward. So you know, yeah, I can't remember his exact scheme or what what the offense was, but that may have been a change too. Though. You know what I'm saying? The coaching chain, like Tom and Pride, like shit, baby, we gonna throw this bitch. Ben, we gonna let you do you now. Uh, you know, Ben was, you know. Cause I think Brady, that's not the same scheme like when they got Josh McDaniels. Definitely not. Cause they like, not. you know, he took Brady game to another level. Josh McDaniels. They good. They had to trust him. Man, they gonna start shutting this right now. After so long, you know. Okay. Okay. So yeah, man. Oh, we got to that. We got to that with Jalen Hurts and all that, that was shit. The, the, the NFC East was Jalen Hurts, so my pick is Dallas. Your pick is Dallas. Yeah, it's Dallas. So, you know, uh, now we it's didn't Dallas. get our picks nah. all around the Cowboys, league. Cowboys, y'all got a legitimate chance, bro. Y'all y'all looking good tonight. <clears throat> I guess Mike, that's Mike McCarthy. This Mike McCarthy first year over there, huh? Or did he coach last year? Yeah, uh, last year he coached. He coached last year. He Zach coached the Cowboys last yeah, year, right? Zach yeah, got that's why I don't Zach feel right. Hurt, the right. Well, yeah. they back at it when he was um with Dak, four hundred yards, three touchdowns. Now look, hell of a question. You got to try to stop them people, man. Hell I was going. Check this out. Hell of a question. Who gonna win the NFC? We just gave the divisions. Now who gonna win the NFC? My NFC. Can pick. I give two? <laughs> Can I give two? <laughs> Please let me give two. Cause the way them boys, my pick is the Rams. <laughs> but my backup looking like Dallas, boy. Dallas looking like if they get that defense together, boy, they could go to that Super Bowl spot. <laughs> Dallas stay healthy, boy. Dallas got talent, son. For real. Dallas get that defense together and get them some stops. They gonna beat you, son. They get stops on you. They got a mobile quarterback, dog, that don't really make mistakes and turn the ball over like that. You yeah, see what I'm saying? To be real, I got the Rams though coming out the NFC. It's gonna be fucked up. This is this this gonna be fucked up. Real talk. Now what you're feeling the same. 
No, you come with it, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm feeling you, though, son. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, no, this this going to be fucked up, bro, because, you know, I don't, you know, I ain't no gone against the grain type nigga. You feel me? I might fuck you up with this pick. You know, even though I said, look, we going to win a division. We're going to win a division. But who going to win the NFC? I'm going to say Tampa, bro. <laughs> Time, dog. <laughs> them you. people loaded, man. Yeah. If you see them people tonight, yeah. two mistakes, it's like you can't make no mistakes against these people, man. Like Time that. is a well-oiled machine. He's not really making no mistakes. He has a lot of talent around him, dog. A lot. Antonio Brown. It, people ain't even thinking about him. He do was just saying he, you know, he the best wide receiver in the league. That's how he gonna talk. All right. Like, and you ain't even thinking about it, Tony. You think about Mike Evans and shit, cause he's very important. I mean, I see why you thinking about him. But come on, man, these dudes got a, a squad, man, and, and good one. He could probably be a number one anywhere too. <laughs> yeah, God with the dog. <laughs> with Leonard toting the rock, and you got the the goat. Back there, man. He ain't got a cat. He ain't like he really just got a. He don't have to be Superman. No. You know what I'm saying? Tom, he ain't got to be Superman. He can really manage the game and still have 300 some yards. Five stats. Easy. <clears throat> Making good plays. Let him, you know. get, his, let, let him get his 85, 90 yards a game. And he's throwing it to guys who going to make something happen <laughs> with it or catching it most of the time. Antonio Brown went off tonight, man. He shows it right quick. I'm still the best. He in the went world. off tonight, man. You got your second or third best corner checking this dude or something, man. See, bro, Tampa's gonna be serious, bro. Tampa's gonna be serious. Saints the only person I feel gonna be able to knock him off in that NFC. You crazy? That Rams, boy. You know, yeah, we're gonna see the Rams yeah, and down. Dallas. Rams and Dallas. <laughs> For the Rams, I'm fucking with the Rams, dude. Rams it's tough. The Dallas. NFL loaded, bro. It's loaded. Cause Dallas could beat them, buddy. Dallas put these people in the playoffs is going to be see, up just like that last night. That's the you thing I feel with football, right? You know, they see defense win championships. But the game's so fucked up with that shit, with the defensive shit. You have to have an elite offense to win championships. You got to. You got to. You got to bring that right. defense as tough as you can up there. But, man, you got to have an elite offense. Dallas has the capability and see, of having an elite offense. And see, got more chemistry offense. than the Rams offense. You know what I'm That's saying? That's the thing about it, though. But see, Rams defense elite. Yeah, and I think Matthew Stafford going to take a lot off of oh, they the chemistry this, chemistry that. Man, Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford, them dudes going to get that shit together. For sure. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. They're going to be tough. Dude, the offense of uh, my a guru. But. Yeah. Time they capable of having a crazy offense. It's so crazy that, like, I don't, Aaron Rodgers now, he like one of the he like damn near the best in the league, one of the best ever. I just, I just don't think they loaded enough to compete with the you know. They got Devontae, they got Aaron Jones, Aaron you know, but these dudes got Dallas and, and Tampa. How I said to me, the only, the only team that really, really wouldn't come down could beat them is the Rams because I think. See, staff of them have the capability of the having Rams, the elite yeah, offense. Though. The Rams gonna move the ball, but <clears throat> see when the Rams see when Brady, every drive is gonna be hard, Brady. You think Lawrence them was getting in that backfield, bitch down on them coming and not Brown. <laughs> I see Brown <laughs> You got an elite defense though Brown we, Of course yeah. you still can win you a championship now, for know, sure And they got one running with Brown huh? <laughs> Both of the Florida boy Not a Florida boy running with a Florida boy It's going down <laughs> Rams it <laughs> It's going to be Evans tonight It ain't going to be Brown Brown elite. No, Brown going. It's going to be Brown. I don't care who checking him now. I ain't about to disrespect him like that, but like. 
Yeah. It's going, going down. Brown. <laughs> I'm just saying. You think Ramsey going to get on Brown? Rams is everywhere he go. Gonna be everywhere he go when they play I don't think Tampa. he get on Brown. Yes, shit, fuck indeed. He gonna get on Brown. I think he, he get, get on, get on, on the I back. think he, he get Evans. Stupid. Fuck no. He ain't gonna never sit on the other side of the field with that boy and let Brown. You know how it would. Fuck no. It's prime time versus prime time. You got the thing, see? No, indeed. Well, all right, oh, who? What you say about that? These both showboat nasty diva, diva ass niggas, what they call these boys, ain't nowhere no, in the listen, world. Bro. He go on the other side from Antonio Brown. It depend talk on, too much, boy. It depends no on way. how the season go with both of them. And Mike he cut, the best wide receiver of this generation. If both of them cut up, Antonio Brown. That's what I'm saying. If both, if Mike Evans got X, Y, and Z, Antonio Brown got X, Y, and Z. Who you think Jalen getting on? It don't matter, bro. Because, you know, Evan's just really easy to check. We keep you underneath. You know, you doing these putting these bodies and woo, 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 woo. We know one thing. If we put our second card on Brown, you know what it is? <laughs> like he did that little boy on that fucking <laughs> island. No, indeed, that boy ain't going See, to. See, I'm trying to defend somebody checking Antonio <laughs> Brown, and that's all I'm doing because I fuck nigga can't check him. Yeah, that Your why. Your ones can't check him. Right. He gonna he gonna hit you know? Ramsey with something. Yeah, Ramsey, you think they about to put another nigga on him? Come on, man, Ramsey gonna come with that work. You think they about to put somebody else on that boy? You <laughs> know, a D. If Ramsey gonna never what Brown go. It's gonna be a fucking heavyweight fight. That's gonna be a fight. Ramsey gonna catch a pick. Ramsey gonna jam him up at the line. Then he gonna come back here and Ramsey with the out routes. <laughs> First down. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Them two pits. Both of them. And Tom Brady, one thing about Tom, he throwing at you. Yeah, he don't care who he is. Jalen Ramsey, yeah. I got Antonio. I'm still going to Antonio. Tampa, bro. Tampa. So, now, boom. We got to name other teams, though. Even though we, you know, like, because one thing I learned about football, dog, it's a game, bro. It's still be coming down to one game. Once you, in these playoffs and shit, it still be it through the years of us watching ball. We just see some shit happen, bro. Like, though, you got teams like Arizona and shit that's just scary. You know, let them get in the playoffs and get hot. Kyler Murray running around, them people playing good defense, man, good wide receivers and shit. You know, you just never know, brother. Cleveland, like I see, you know, well that's the AFC. We we got to give our AFC pick, but. Uh, we got a, you know, we got our picks so I feel you with the sleepers and shit like that. But that's who I'm picking, Tampa, man. Tampa to win the AFC. Who you got winning the AFC before we get we give our certified, you know, locks? We're gonna, you know. AFC, brother? You know, it's week one, man. We going, you know. I got Cleveland. He knew who you were. He done, he done, he done jotted this I down got and Cleveland. thought about I got, it. I got Cleveland it's, going it comes, to the still boat. come down. Because I love KC so much, dog, but Cleveland you just got a doubt somebody. Cleveland got a better team, dog. They got a better team, dog. Them dudes stack, brother. They, uh, you don't understand, brother. Running that fucking ball. And you could control that pace, bro. And you got the receivers, dog. And you got the receivers, too, running the ball. But they got that defense, bro. They going to be hard to beat. You don't want to play them, bro. They got two starting running backs in the backfield. You don't want to play that, brother. <clears throat> Come on. <clears throat> and we ain't getting tired. <clears throat> Pound, we gonna weigh you down. We ain't getting tired. They almost got that last year. Nigga fumbled the ball at the two yard line. It was gonna beat KC last year. Dude fumbled the ball, man. Listen, bro. <laughs> they gonna be hard to beat this that year. That may bro. have been their chance. No, fuck that. They they didn't got they better. My AFC pick is KC. When you put a nigga, when you do all that and you didn't have Odell on the field, I don't care what they say about what they wasn't clicking and all that. You did all that and you didn't have Odell on the field. 
Now we add no Odell. We didn't did, uh, uh, yeah. uh, and now we got Odell to hit you with that action when you come now, cause we been pounding, we gonna pound the fuck out you. And now we got yeah. Odell on that post route. And I'm still <laughs> fucking with Tyron them back there. Like yeah, we, we they got been, Odell on they that been post. on break defense. Them KC, yeah, KC, yeah. yeah. Big oh, that's the AFC that championship. Way. If they not, if they not, I don't know. The they might side. be, they might be Buffalo. I don't nah, know. Buffalo don't stand a chance for nothing. They ain't crazy, ready yet. They, they ain't put the I pieces. take the better. They ain't put I know the one thing. A quarterback will beat you before. Now I ain't going to say before. A quarterback will beat you. They ain't put can. the pieces to the puzzle over there yet. They, they got they, the one piece you need. They, they still young and early. Pat Mahomes Jr. Yeah, they got the well, Fuck no, man. That man can't hold that man. Pat Joshua. Mahomes Jr., man. Fuck no, man. That man is a... That man ain't no true natural pocket quarterback. Pat Mahomes Jr., man. That's what y'all don't understand about him. He getting better in the pocket, but he's not a natural pocket quarterback. Dude came out as a dual threat. Dude was in college running the pistol offense. He done got better. He throwing it all over the field, dog. Don't get it twisted. He he ain't ready all the way yet. Uh-uh. He, he ain't ready with that bold talk. Uh-uh. He going to do good. He might win 12 games or something. He ain't ready. When he, you know, he ain't ready on the bowl talk. He ain't ready. He see no, Baker. He, he might be even more ready than Baker. But what I'm saying is, he ain't got the defense Baker got. That's why I can't pick him. See, he do got a defense. He ain't got the team. He do got a defense. He ain't got boy. the team yet to carry him in there. Because he can't carry him in there. Them dudes he loaded too. To, yeah, they loaded. They d de- nice. They oh nice. Fuck no. They ain't got no linebackers, brother. They got your Davis White in that safety. And they line. They don't, get they, no line. Sa- they don't have a pass rusher. What I'm trying man, to tell they, you. They D nice, man. They D middle of the pack straight, which is good. They D middle of the pack. They good. They got like a rank 16 defense or something. That's straight. Well, Cleveland was ranked last year defense. Because we going off potential. I don't think they was up yeah, there like Cleveland that. was like number nine defense or some shit. They was up yeah. there. Yeah. I bet Buffalo shit was Buffalo shit was probably top five or something, man. Uh, Buffalo be a, a, a top defense, though. Buffalo now, got I a good defense, this though. This last year by Josh Allen scoring a lot of points. They was getting scored oh, on no. here and there, having high God scoring points, games. Yeah. You, know, you know, stupid shit like that, but... And Buffalo been having a top notch defense, man. Yeah, and not you know, Tredavious White, LSU, he don't get the credit, but like Yeah, he wanted the best of the whatever, league. Whatever your cornerback can do, he can do. Like, and when when Gilmore won the MVP, they put their seasons together, they was identical. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they gave Gilmore the MVP. They, they was identical, him and Tredavious White. That dude cold. Yes indeed. Cool, he locked down. They just gave him his money. Yeah, he got top dollar. I think yeah, he yeah. highest paid con. He was the highest paid con at one time. Mm-hmm. I don't know if somebody got it or not. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah. You know, we had so many cornerbacks coming out at that time, LSU. I didn't even know he was the one one the one like that. Because yeah. when he was the he one started as a true freshman. But think about it. <laughs> but when he knew. was like his junior year or something. He we had kicks and shit. We, no, we had somebody else I couldn't remember at the time who was just off the market. Like, so he got, you know, he got shadowed up to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just ain't know he was that guy like that. But right. there's so many of them. But dude he, at Carolina. He, he with Odell now and Jarvis now. That's who he with. Right. So did Tyron play a year no. with him? No. He not with that 2011 team. It's another cornerback or something who, or somebody who was who was like that. But you know, I can't think you know, of that. They had Brooks. All them niggas was gone, man. How old did they be? You, everybody. Was yeah, it's too many of them. So I yeah. can't remember which one was there when I'm talking out, about. Well, he he was that nigga. He, he, yeah, I know. I know he was starting cornerback. I just didn't know. And you know he, used he to was going to be. Kickoffs back. The punts and shit. It was wait one year maybe. Yeah, he's a break. Yeah. And I don't think he was that like. His doing last, it every year. His last year, he was doing that. Breaking them back, everything. He locked down. Um, so, KC, your pick for KC, K- man. AFC. KC, bro. Pat so Mahomes. Basically, CD just called the rematch, y'all. Huh? 
Yeah. CZ just called the rematch. KC Whoop. Tab in the chip. He, CD just called it. Rematch. Mahomes get his ESTG. You don't know what that means. <laughs> I woo that's over your head. Hey. He get, get his, his leg, leg back. back. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> you hear me? I, it ain't going down like that, though. That's how I see it. Ain't none of them going. None of them ain't going to the bull this year. That's possible. That's possible. Ain't none of them yeah, going. Yeah, that's possible. I don't think none of them going, for sure. I don't, <clears throat> I don't think none of them going yet. So let's 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 get into uh we got two certified locks. Oh yeah. You got two, I got two for the NFL games this weekend. I don't know if you wanna pull up some sprays or something right quick just to Well I know all the spray, I know the sprays off hand. Right, I ain't sure though. My I got my one, I, I ain't sure about my second one, which one I'm gonna pick it out of, but I got it though. My certified lot on the spray is the coast to beat Seattle straight up. Money line. Go to the casino and take that money line. If you're going to a local bookie, <laughs> take the coast plus. I mean, yeah, take the coast plus the three you're going to be getting. The other lock with it is the Arizona Cardinals over Tennessee. I got Arizona over Tennessee. That's two locks. Go put whatever you want on it. You got triple your money here. Go put whatever you want on it. Trust that. Trust that. Go put whatever you want on it. So you got the uh, Coast money line. The Coast money line? Against and, Seattle, right? Yeah. At the Coast. Yeah. And, okay. And, and Arizona money line. Coast money line, so you going money line, not spread bets. You going money line. With I like your both of them with the spread, cause see, you know they both underdogs, so of course I like both of them with the points. But I also but like. But your bet is the money line. But the but the bet is that both of them gonna win. I got you, I got you, I got you. I think both of my teams gonna win. All right, now mine a little bit more simpler then, but I feel you. I'm going with the spread. But I'm going my, my my number one lock this weekend. I like the under. I like the under in the Miami New England Patriot game, fellas and gals. I'm gonna fuck with that. You dig? That's my number one. You know, that's what doing my little homework. Woo woo. That was one of my. That was my top pick. That's what stood out to me. My second. What we gonna call so we gonna let you lock. give three, see? Give me since, get since three. I, since I ain't have an over and under, I ain't tripping off that. You give three, give two picks. Right. All right. All right. So you give us. You give. You give them two picks plus your over and under. You just gave. All right. Two picks there. All right. My other one gonna be. I'm going with Cincinnati, bro. Tough. I like Cincinnati with the three points. Tough. Against Minnesota, you know, I feel like Joe Burrow is gonna have another come out party, bro. He's just gonna, you know, he gonna do this thing right here and just and, and shine with his fellas. He got yeah, Chase. He's gonna shine and everything. He got T Higgins. Ooh, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Boy, Joe Mixon, you know, Minnesota, good team. I think they just going to come out and show them that, God damn, we ain't know these dudes are going to be good like that, you know, early on. So I expect a high-scoring game. I feel like Joe Barr going to come out and do his thing. Cincinnati plus the three. Other people, Not my other one. My other one. My other one was Pittsburgh, bro. Pittsburgh plus the six and a half, man. Yeah. You That's just two say, other you, dogs. You, your people, Allen, he ain't giving it for nothing. Yeah, I like Buffalo. But, you know, first game, Pittsburgh, man, that's that's Pittsburgh, dude. They got, a, they got a, 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 I think, an elite running back coming. Your boy, uh, Najee, Najee Harris. Harris from Alabama, I think he's going to be a top back immediately right now. 
and it's just going to be hard to beat Pittsburgh. Are you going to give them six and a half points first week? I'm 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 taking Pittsburgh. <laughs> you feel me? Right. Well, if I feel like it's gonna be a good game, and it's gonna come down to the wire, Pittsburgh make it, Pittsburgh can win this game. I like the points, but Pittsburgh can win this game. So I got two underdogs though. Cincinnati, come out, Pittsburgh. And I got two underdogs. That's Chris. Yeah. Hey, we you got them to win. Dogs. I kinda I kinda I kinda like Cincinnati money the line. The spread that I'm getting, you gotta like them to win. Yeah, yeah. I like Cincinnati mm-hmm. to I actually like Cincinnati to win. Right. Cincinnati money line. But I like Pittsburgh with the points. If I had to bet it. I'd take the points before Pittsburgh, I do the money line. Pittsburgh boy. But my number one bet that stuck out to me was the under in the Miami, New England. Two young teams. As long as too many turnovers don't have it, I don't think they're going to blow it up on the school board. Yeah, they, they might not blow it up. You know. But, um, so, yeah, that's our picks, fellas. You dig? Yeah, the coach this in a, Arizona. Um, this, a late, this a late show. Yeah, this was just this some Hurricane Ida show. edition. We did all right. You dig? Everybody, you know, immediate fam and everybody, we pretty much, everybody did good. We had a few people we knew. Had some damages on the crib and shit, but you know, we just be like, get that back, you dig? I pray for y'all you know? out there. Whoever going through anything, you know, out there with this storm situation, man, shit gonna get better. You dig? You see, I brought my Frenchie, my, 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 my man, you dig? <laughs> he the showcase today, dog. Frenchie Quarters, man. Fuck oh, man. Uh, Shout out to Pets, man. We had a lot of Pets dying in the we go, Hurricane Before Island. we go, see. Now, that's what I did here. A LSU lot of people with dogs died, bro. LSU fans. All day and shit. We gonna be all right. Yeah. LSU, LSU fans. We, we gonna be all right. We ain't even touch on no college. We gonna get on college next year. That first uh, week be a lot of up and down games and shit. We gonna get on that college next week for sure. But LSU you fans, did. we gonna be all right. Gonna be I, all right. I just wanna leave y'all on that note. We Shout gonna out be to all right. Quarters, man. Nah, nah, snow. You dig sticky? You dig? Uh, come get a dog from the fresh <laughs> quarters, man. But um, uh, we gonna wrap it up, man. Smoking sports, co CD. Noodles. You did. You did. Hurricane Ida edition. Got that Odell, you know what I'm saying? All American jersey on. Yeah. Pro Bowl, school. easy. You did. Just, that, just the Army game or something? I don't know. Just American one of them. Army game, yeah. Odell, New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? I like we that. ain't even mention Odell. I don't think when we talk about best yeah. to come out of it. I think you may have said something about it. Yeah, Odell. We just, and we're going to get back to the best to come out the city, bro. Football and basketball, man. See, we got so I, I, many people hitting us up. Everybody didn't get Odell tied up because when Odell was and at Newman, us know who was after the storm. Who who had talent here, there, there, there. We only two dudes, but we couldn't have saw it all. No, indeed you know, we didn't see it all. But at the same time, it's good dialogue. It's good barbershop talk. It's a good way to show love to, to these dudes who... We ain't seen in a long time or whatever it is, you dig? So it's a good thing. We ain't been getting number good reviews on the um, the comparison and shit, the best duos and all that. You know, with DJ and Brock, Greed and Dino. Who else we had up Lamar there? And uh, Lamar and Tyree. Hollis you know, and Quinn. Hollis and Quan is white. And they got much more. Boy and Milton. Right. Uh, and people forget, man, they had a duo. Taurus, Brighton, them, and Slidell. Hey, they got a duo, and I and I want somebody to tap in on this one. Bo and Milton. Who was the other guy that played with Danny Granger? I remember when we was coming, Danny Granger, Can't our remember. age. It, 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 they had two, like, six, six guards. It was Danny Granger and another guy. Now, I know Shane Foster was at Bonneville. What Danny Granger went? Grace huh? King. Grace it was King. Two of them. They had I two can't six, remember who was with them. They had two six six guards. I just want to find met, out we because we up. can put them up there as duos. They tore this bitch up too. Yeah. Danny Granger. Them. We got to dig deep with, with with duos, bro, because that second and third dude on the team, the longer you wait, the longer you forget about them. You feel me? Right. So 
that's good that we, we, we thought no, about the, that. The, some teams just had the superstar. Like, yeah. I don't remember who was that nigga under Tim Bush at when he was at Shaw. Yeah. Tim Bush was killing. Yeah, exactly. Six, six seven, six, eight. Can't exactly. nobody check on me dunking on everything. You know how exactly. I went. Tim Bush was at Abe, too? I forgot what happened. Was Squeak now? Was Tim Bush at? Or did Squeak go to Shaw? That was That was JaVel. Yeah, JaVel. That was Javel. JaVel. Went to Oak Hill and shit. He left Abe and went to Oak Hill. Damn, boy. We go to run about the high school shit for real right quick. Yes, indeed. You know how I it's too. It's too many people, bro. Like... For real, for real.